curtain. Once upon a time in a lush green Asian jungle far, far away from the world of people lived some animals. One day a large black bear came wandering along a jungle path. He saw something strange lying across the path. It was a bear too, but how it came to be in the jungle was a mystery. <coughs> What is that? It smells strange. It must be the stint of some fruit. It's round and like an open stint. <coughs> Just then a handsome tiger came crawling out of the long grass. Yes, I have seen this 
one of these before. It is not a banana skin, nor is it a fish or a nut, a piece or a piece of bark or a basin. It's a man's shoe. A shoe? What is a shoe? What is a man? A man is a strange animal that stands on two legs, just as I do, but he is not a bird. He cannot walk, and he has no feathers. He has to make his own. You must be joking. I'm not joking. Men do make their own feathers because their skin is thin and soft. Their feet are easily hurt. Men make things called shoes to put them on their feet. Shoes stop their soft feet from getting hurt. Soft feet? That can't be true. Make things put them on? Animals don't put things on their feet. Promises, 
how will we how will you bring that fire up in the eagle? The first thunder log began to crack. I can't do it, and how will you bring that that wind wrapped in paper? The second thunder log was crying too. I can't do it. <laughs> then along came a young woman riding on a water buffalo. Uh, you look unhappy. What's the matter? Can I help you? The daughters in law saw a party. No, thank you. It's impossible. Tell me, I'm sure I can help. So, the, so they told her about the promises they made to the father in law. If we break our promises, we will never see our mothers again. Come with me. I'll show you how to wrap fire, fire and paper. And I'll show you how to wrap wind and paper as well. So the daughters-in-law went home with her as to see how they could be done. The young woman showed the first daughter-in-law a paper lamp. When you light a lantern, you have fire wrapped in paper. Wonderful, a thousand thanks. When the young woman showed the second daughter in law, a fan and flap back and forth to make a breeze. When you flap a fan, you have wind wrapped in paper. Wonderful, a thousand thanks. Now we will be able to keep our promises. They thanked the young woman again and walked you. on to their own village to visit their mothers. Soon it was time for the daughters of law to return to their husbands and, and the father in law. They walked back along the road together, one carried a paper lantern and, and another carried a fan. Then they the rat they bow to the father-in-law. Did you remember your promises? Yes, father-in-law. Then he asked each of the daughters of law to show him what they had brought. When the first daughter-in-law showed him a paper lantern and the second daughter-in-law showed him a fan, he was amazed. I did not think that you could find these two things. I thought it was impossible. The daughters-in-law told him they had met a young woman who showed them how they could be done. Is this young woman engaged to get married? No. Then a like hold to join our family. Such a wise young woman would make an excellent wife for my old son. So he sent a messenger to the young woman's family. The messenger greeted the family respectfully and asked if their daughters could be allowed to marry the, his third son. They agreed at and the young woman married the third son and joined in the family. At the wedding, the father-in-law made this My wife is dead, so there is no woman here who is head of the house. From now on, this young, wise young woman, my third daughter-in-law, will be head of the house. So the wise, so the wise young woman became the head of the house and because she was so clever and so kind, the family became rich and happy.